Okay guys, in this video I finally want to show you how my Witch Doctor build works in practice. The first thing when you encounter a mob pack is you cast Grasp of the Dead and Locust Swarm to keep your mana up as well as collecting health globes and for boosting your damage. And then you just run into them, maybe with a Spirit Walk. And you use Soul Harvest and Zombie Bears to finish them off. Goes pretty fast as you can see here. There's one thing I forgot to mention about my gear in the previous video, and this is that you also want to have pickup radius on your gear. I have two items with pickup radius, so I end up with 14 pickup radius. This is very good for collecting the health globes, and also grave injustice and benefits from this, and uh, also good effect side effect of having pickup radius is that you collect a lot of gold. To say something about the speed of this build, I have to say that it is not as efficient as the Bavarian build. Moldwind said he can farm 5.3 legendaries per hour by doing 4500 life kills, which is about 1 legendary every 900 life kills, but um, getting 4 legendaries per hour with this build is still very well possible. Here I encounter an elite pack, I will say something about this in a second. At first you can see here the use of Mass Hysteria, which keeps the Fallen Maniac away from you, except one, but this is one I survived. And another thing is um, that, you know, there are those exploding barrels, which stuns the mobs, but it also spreads them apart. Um, this is a very bad thing. If you can, you should avoid destroying those barrels. Most time you can, but sometimes you have the chance. Um, because spreading mobs apart is what um, decreases your damage. You want the mobs to stay as close together as possible because then your zombie bears are doing much more damage. Back to the allies. You usually don't want to kill allies because it's just too time consuming and they don't really drop as good and you don't need a Nephilim Railer. Um, sometimes they have very annoying affixes like um, Vortex and Brawler. I think these two are the most annoying ones. Um, there you have a clear advantage of the Barbarian over the Witch Doctor because the Barbarian just can, um, you know, he has, he's running with Berserker around all the time and they are immune to such controlling things, especially Vortex. If you still want to kill allies, the best thing is to just let them follow you and lead them from, from one trash mob pack to another, because um, this whole build is focused on killing trash mobs and you need your cooldowns to be resetted and stuff like this and regenerating mana and all the things and if you just try to kill it alone um, you might have some problems because you're running out of mana, your cooldowns don't reset and then they dodge your zombie bears and all the bad things that you don't want to happen actually happen um, there is uh, another nice use of mass confusion by the way and yeah, even if allies have just like 10% of their health left, just move on. It's not worth from my experiences. If you need to kill the allies badly because of their annoying affixes and they really hinder your movement, then you can use a nice glitch with the zombie bears. Um, usually you have those three, those three branches of the zombie bears running and if you're standing in the corner, then those three branches kind of collapse to one branch, and then you have one branch of a constant flow of zombie bears, and this is doing massive damage. And if you're doing nice position, then you can kill the allies very fast. The last thing that I want to mention is um, how you finish the run. Usually you want to get yourself in a safe corner and then just TP out and this is not possible all the time because um, sometimes you have just as in this one an allied pack that is following you and then you can do a different thing um, you don't even try to TP out you're just in the game and then as I do just wait those 10 seconds leave the game and if you die it's not really that bad um, because you also collected a lot of money with your pickup radius to get um, your repair costs and stuff. Even though the Witch Doctor has some clear disadvantages against the Barbarian, it's still a lot of fun to do those runs. 
And I also need to mention that this build is very new and maybe I encouraged some of you guys to experiment a bit around with it and maybe to even improve it. A clear advantage over the Barbarian is that you can easily make this Witch Doctor build fit for team play. Then you use um, Big Bad Voodoo with Slam Dance and Mass Confusion with Paranoia and if you have a strong team player then you can easily rampage over all of the allies you encounter and just kill them right away because the massive damage um, the massive damage boost is just insane. I think that's everything that I had to say about this build and I hope you learned something and you liked it and you can also leave some comments and maybe see you again.